There's something coming! One. Ah! Silence! Two. Lost, Max. We're lost. Three! Terrified kids are bad for business. You have to cut it off! Cut it off! Cut it off! Uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the quarry, which is the spiritual successor to Until Dawn Chat. The sleeper hit that came out in 2015 took Twitch by Stream Chat, really made super massive games into what they are today, who have been developing uh, a lot of these uh, dark picture anthology games. We kind of like these short experiences, short Until Dawn esque experiences, delving into different uh, subgenres of horror, whether they be sci fi or supernatural or psychological. Well, now Supermassive is calling this the proper sequel, or at least the proper spiritual sequel successor to Until Dawn. It's got a hell of a cast chat, but let's go ahead and take a look. I'm going to come back, and I want to hear your thoughts, too. What the fuck's wrong with your arm? Smuggling a ham in there. I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. That's right. Damn it! I thought I told you kids to check everything. Look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, Jesus. Make sure okay. that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? I'll be back first thing in the morning, and we'll get you all on the road. What if we're out partying tonight out in the woods and we end up what? in a most dangerous Fucking high situation? and drunk. Like when people hunt other people? Yeah, what, I mean, think about it. It's Camp is over and hunting season has just begun. Oh, I no. did see a weird light in the treehouse. That's David Arquette. Lake. That was pretty spooky. Maybe it's your girlfriend, it's Brian. It's super spooky. Hack of hack, it's quarry. Justice Smith is so weird in this. Mm-hmm. You look? Mm-hmm. Ah! It's Ariel Winter. It was the... Bears. And why does everyone blame everything? <laughs> why does it sound that way? He sounds so derpy. Zombies, aliens, time hopping Dracula. That'd be kind of fucking cool. Uh, Ryan? Hey! Run! Yeah, they got they got ham hocks. His guns. I don't imagine what the fuck that was. He sounds really fucking high. Terrified kids are bad for business. You have to cut it off! Cut it off! Cut it off! Maybe just ease up on the ghost stories. Sorry. Just stick to Kumbaya next time, okay? Okay. What's that? What's the, what is it? You guys don't do. <laughs> he doesn't know what the fuck he anymore. is. <laughs> <laughs> There's the cast. Pretty uh, pretty slick trailer. You got Ted Raimi, got Ted Hendrickson, Chad Lynch, Shay. There you go. The quarry chat. Welcome to the show. What do you guys? How do you guys feel about this? Real how are you guys awesome. feeling about this? What are your uh, What are your thoughts and opinions? So I'm like what I'm seeing, Chad. Like I said, I'm a huge fan of Until Dawn. Uh, I remember streaming that. I mean, I've streamed it at least twice on. Uh, well, I think twice on my own channel. And I think once on uh, DT Gameplay, and that was so much fun. And I just, you guys know, I love horror films, and it's it's, it's just the perfect for a content creator like me. What, what about the rest of you guys? You know, are you a fan of Supermassive? Are you a fan? Uh, were you a fan of Until Dawn? Are you looking forward to this? The Listen Gamers is one player. I don't know. The last game you could play with multiple people, or um, I think the Dark Picture ones you could. At least the Dark Picture. I know the Dark Picture anthology you can play with multiple people. I don't know about the original Until Dawn. I've only played it by myself. Uh, but it's a good question. Very good question. Uh, and they took all, they, they all look derp. They do look derpy. <laughs> Maybe that's on purpose. <laughs> I just purchased that because that true. Oh, nice, RJ. Nice. No, you're going to love Until Dawn. That's great. And it's probably cheap, too. Probably like, what, 10 bucks, 20 bucks now? Uh, Sarah Beck says, meh. Uh, Mr. Sharon Joseph Smith, okay, I dig. Yeah, yeah he, he, he's playing like the goofy uh, kid that's like super high. I'm really liking that. Uh, that facial capture looks terrible. It looks weird. <laughs> it definitely looks weird. It definitely looks dated. Um. $20. Brenda Son, I really like her. She's been in a lot of interesting projects after. Did you, oh, she won them uh, Mickey Mouse Club kids. Oh, there you go. There was kids. Oh, definitely. The thing is, what's so cool about this, he says, uh, see, Mabbit says, supposed to give me Friday 13th, 13th ish vibes. True. But I think with this game, it's also going to be a twist because the last game, watch, well, I don't want to say too much, but there's always a little twist 
in regards to um, Supermassive's horror games. And so it might appear to be a slasher, but I would not be shocked if this has a supernatural or sci-fi or like a creature feature element chat. What's I'm all for, baby. I like that. I like when they kind of turn the, the genre, incorporate different sub-genres into this game that looks like it's going to be just one thing, and then they take a you know a left turn, and it comes uh, something different. All, all about them. Choose your own adventure. Oh, definitely. And they're so fun for streaming, Cristando. Agreed. I love Until Dawn, says Thunder Lee. I still need to play Dark Pictures, but this is such a star stud cast. I knew Supermassive is going to have a crazy twist, just like Until Dawn. Yep. They look like Seth Rogen, the Rescue Rangers trailer. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> they do. <laughs> They do. Let's see what the Capitol Woods. I mean, they might. They might do something like that. It's going to be aliens, I bet you. Probably. I'm very excited what it could potentially be. Let's see. Let's see what else you guys are saying right now. Uh, who says, hell yeah. Because it looks cool. I like the cast. Same. No, good Good looking cast there. Macaulay call Baby Mama Brenda Son. Oh, that's right. That's his, uh, that's his wife. That's true. I forgot about that. Yes. Kevin's wife. Uh, David Craig and Lynn Shea sold me for this game. Oh, yeah, I mean, there's there's such fixtures of horror films and big horn franchises. For those of you who might be unfamiliar with Lynn Shea, I mean, she's been working for decades. I think probably one of the one of her most notable films when she was younger was she was played one of the teachers in A Nightmare on Elm Street chat. And, uh, of course, she starred in a lot of James Wan films. She's been a big part of the Insidious franchise, among other films uh, as well, all the horror movies, that is. So... Yeah, that feels like the ending. Oh, wait, 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 just were in the trailer, probably. <laughs> they probably were showing some late game stuff in that, but they were, you know, purposely blocking so you couldn't tell what was actually going on. So it's kind of like uh, System Shock 2 and Bioshock. I, I mean, not, not a twist in that way. I mean, who knows? Maybe <laughs> we could be fighting, you know, Big Daddy uh, 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 divers by the end of the game. That could happen. You just don't know. They can really throw you in your head. Uh, it looks just like uh, Blackwood's Lodge from... It does. It does look like Blackwood. You're right, the lodge. Yeah, I thought, wait, is this the same location? At first, I thought it was the same location. But it. But I think they've... It, it's, it's somewhere... It's, it's set somewhere else. Could take place in the same world, though. I would not be surprised if that is indeed the case. Chris Ayers, thank you for the 10 minutes. Juice, man, what I missed? Oh, we just did a poll, my friend. We just did a movie poll a little while ago. Uh, I'm trying to remember what the winner was. Uh, do, do, oh, Great Outdoors. Great Outdoors was indeed the winner. Meg Outdoors, good to see you. Her most notable movie was Boat Trip. Was it, though? <laughs> Boat Trip, really? Was it that one? Oh, man, because I'm insanely ready for this game. Glee, oh, what's for multiplayer shenanigans? Probably going to be doing some Mario Kart tonight. Definitely Mario Kart, no doubt. Definitely Mario Kart. Definitely their tippies. They also have a six-part podcast to promote this game to creepy stories from the world of the quarry. Ah, episode of That's neat. I like that. There you go. Changing up a little bit. Very cool. Very cool. No, thank you for all your generosity, guys. Thank you again, Thunderly. Thank you again, Chris Harris. But, uh, but yeah, so overall, I, I mean, I'm liking this, but... Uh, uh, I totally agree. The the facial animations look fucking weird. <laughs> There's some off about them, but I can I can kind of forgive that. I think it might add to just kind of the goofy horror experience. And I mean, Until Dawn had the same issue too. Some of these faces, like, oh, they look good. And other times, like, that doesn't look good. People just going like that sometimes. So I think that could almost add to the gameplay itself, add to the the story itself. So certainly funny moments playing these games. Um, yeah, I know he looks he looks fucking cursed. <laughs> he looks so weird just about the mustache too. He needs some facial hair, chap. It's that super it's super uncanny valley. You're right, Deadpool, it's right. But uh in this this it's that they're yeah, they're using the same engine. They gotta use a different engine now. They gotta use like Unreal or something. This isn't working for him. But mm, it's still um it still can it's it still looks fun, and I'm definitely gonna play it, chat. I'm a fan. I haven't played all of the Dark Pictures anthology games. I've only played one actually on stream. I didn't play Little Hope, and I didn't play... I heard the most recent one was pretty good. I heard that with the third one, which takes place, I think, like, during the Iraq War, I guess. I heard that one was surprisingly good. So I think I will check out... I'll check out those other two someday. 